What do you enjoy about doing art? What do I enjoy about doing art? Um, just, it's like an outlet for me to uh, express myself. Maybe, um, I don't know, I'm screwing up this line of questioning as it is already. <laughs> I haven't even got past that one yet. I don't know, it's just an outlet for me, that's all. How long have you been doing art? Uh, seventh grade. I remember in sixth grade we had these block classes and uh, we had to switch an elective every two weeks and it was our week to switch to the art class. We had to stay in ten more weeks of music and I never got to take the art class. And so in seventh grade I was like I'm gonna do this like no matter what. So I enrolled and so seventh grade was pretty much the, the beginning of everything. What was your first art experience? making arts and crafts with my grandma at the kitchen table. We'd make like little Christmas ornaments and I don't know, things you can decorate the house with. Things that grandmas do. Who is one of your greatest inspirations? Um, I would have to say, I don't know, music plays a really big part of my life so things, um, I don't know, bands in general, um, guitarists, um, this music's the biggest inspiration. Ever. You're currently serving as the Cameron intern for the Lawton Fort Slaw Art Council. How does that play a role in your life? Oh, that helps me be a lot more organized and with time management and if I need if they need me to be at a certain place or a certain time, um, it, it, it helps me just keep on track with things, to know that I have a duty that I need to fulfill. What are your goals for your art in 2012? To produce. <laughs> to produce. What type of style would you say your art is? My style would have to be very expressive. I like to use a lot of color, and it's, I'm not really stingy with certain colors, so if it's like a, a bright fluorescent green, I'm going to try to work it into my painting some way or somehow. Um, I don't know. I just, I would have to say expressive. That's, that's the only word that I, could, that I could actually say my style would be. What is your favorite media to work with? oil paints and uh, oil pastels. What do you like about oil paint? <laughs> it, uh, I don't know, it allows me to come back three or four hours later and still be able to touch the wet paint again, you know. It doesn't dry as fast. Acrylics, I mean, if I were to work with acrylics, I'd probably do it in one setting and leave it alone. Where oils, you know, I can gladly come back a couple days later and still be able to mess with it. So what would you say your art means to you? <laughs> I think just like music, everything. It's like a good outlet for me to um, just to express myself. There's no boundaries in that. You can do whatever you, whatever you feel like is, you just put it on the canvas. That's what, I, that's what it all boils down to. Would you say you're successful as an artist? I believe in my own right I am uh, successful as an artist. What is your life goal for your art? <laughs> to learn, that's it. You learn to, um, to build and hone in on my skills as an artist. You know, I look at it the same way as the guitar or learning an instrument or something, you kind of have to, like you're always learning something, so. Does your Native American heritage influence your art in any way? My Native American heritage, yes it does. Uh, it influences a lot, of, a lot about my art. Um, it, it's like a gateway for me to learn more about my culture. In some ways I felt like, 
cheated that I didn't get to learn some of the things I did. This allows me to do research and have a, a point of view about the way I see things in Native American culture. So not only are you an artist with a paintbrush, but you're also an artist in music. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing the guitar? Um, interesting story. Um, I wanted to play the guitar just to impress some girl in high school. That's really what it was I wanted to do. Um, <laughs> that, that didn't really go too well, and I just kept uh, playing after that. So it had to be a sophomore year. So... I think, and she was the same one that got me into tennis as well. The year I joined tennis, because I thought she was going to be in there, is the year she left tennis, and now I'm a tennis player, so. <laughs> what do you think the most important thing for a new and emerging artist needs to focus on? <sighs> produce. Yeah, just to produce as much as you can. I think people these days like variety as opposed to just, I don't know. They, they like to see a person... Um, so just producing a lot of things, I guess. I don't know. They, I'm pretty sure they don't really want like a small collection of, of what the artist can do. I think if there's 500 paintings that he did, I think people would be satisfied to look at how different he approached each painting. So produce. Well, thank you for being with us. I enjoyed our interview. Thank you.